Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will talk about JavaScript scope. To work with JavaScript efficiently, one of the first things you need to understand is the concept of variable scope. The scope of a variable is controlled by the location of variable declaration. Scoping rules vary from language to language. JavaScript has two scopes, global and local. Any variable declared outside of function belongs to global scope and therefore it is accessible from anywhere in your code. All the scripts and functions on your web page can access it. As you can see, I just added a function and a variable x outside of this function. This variable x has a global scope, which means you can access this global variable x inside this function and also outside of this function. Let me access this global variable x inside this function. I will use alert. And inside the alert, I will access the global variable x. Like this way. And now I will copy this line of code and I will paste it outside of this function. And I will say accessed outside of a function. So you can access a global variable inside a function and outside a function. I will go ahead, I will save this script. I will open index.html file. So this alert box execution is performed inside the function and you can see the global variable x is accessible inside a function. I will go ahead, I will click on the OK. And this is the alert box execution outside of the function and you can see the global variable x is accessible from outside of the function. I will go ahead, I will click on the OK. This global variable x will be deleted when a user close this window. Like this. So this is the example of global scope in JavaScript. Each function has its own scope, which means a variable declared inside a function is only accessible in that function. As you can see, I just added a function, my function to and inside this function, I have declared a variable y. This variable y variable has a local scope. And this variable y is only accessible inside this function. If you try to access this variable y outside of a function, it will generate an error. Let me access this variable y inside a function. I will use document dot write method. And now I will access the variable y like this, y is equal to and now the variable y and I will say accessed inside of a function. I will copy this line of code and I will paste it outside of this function and I will say accessed outside of a function. This line of code will generate an error because I am trying to access a local scope variable outside of a function. I will also comment out these two alerts. I will go ahead, I will save this script. I'll refresh the browser so you can see y is equal to 50 accessed inside of a function. So this local variable y is accessible inside this function. But what happened to this line of code? It has generated an error. Let me show you the error. I'll right click, I'll select inspect. I'll choose console and you can see it is stating y is not defined on line 28 and on the line 28 I have a line of statement which is accessing a local scope variable. So local scope variables are not allowed or not accessible outside of a function. Local scope in JavaScript is created by a function. So therefore it is also called function scope. And local variables are deleted when this function is completed. So this was the example of local scope in JavaScript. There is one another way to make a global variable is to just initialize it and not to declare it. It will automatically become a global variable. Let me give you an example of an automatic global variable. I will comment out this line of code because it is generating an error. I will create some space. And now I will add a third function. As you can see, I just added a third function and inside this function, I have variable Z 
and this variable z is just initialized by the value of 100. Now notice I didn't add the war keyword. It is not declared. So by this way, this variable z has a global scope and this variable z is accessible outside of this function and also inside of this function. Let me access this variable z inside of this function. I will copy this line of code. I will also comment out this line of code because I don't need it. I will paste it inside this function. I will replace y with the z. So using this line of statement, I am accessing the variable z inside of this function. And I will also copy this line of code. I will paste it outside of this function and I will say accessed outside of this function. So now in this case, this line of code will not generate an error because the variable z has global scope just by assigning it a value. I'll go ahead, I'll save this script. I will close this console window. I'll refresh the page. Uh, let me add a line break so you can see it clearly. I'll add a line break. I'll save it again. I'll refresh the browser. So now you can see z is accessible inside of a function and also it is accessible outside of a function. As you can see, if you just initialize a variable inside of a function and not to declare it, it will become a global variable and you can access it inside of this function and also outside of this function. And this variable will be deleted as soon as user close this browser window. So in this video, I covered the scoping rules in JavaScript.